Hi math friends, today we're going to talk about section 7.3, solve and write subtraction equations. We'll talk about the addition property of equality, and I want to challenge you by writing just an algebra problem here. A minus B equals C. How would I solve that using the addition property of equality? Think back to what the subtraction property of equality said. I want to solve this equation for A. If I want to solve that for A, I want to isolate A, but I have a minus B here. What's the opposite of minus or subtracting b? That would be adding b. If I add b to the left side of the equation, I also have to add b to the right side of the equation. I'll just have a on the left side. Since c and b are not like terms, we need to keep them separate from each other. So we can have a equals c plus b. We notice our equality here when we do plus b on the left side and plus b on the right side. Please go ahead and write the definition of the addition property of equality in your own words. Here's a couple problems that we'll do together. Like I said, this is very similar to our last section where we wrote and solved addition equations. First we have 60 equals x minus 29. Where's our variable? Always, always, always locate your variable. If we have minus 29, we need to add 29 to both sides. So we're left with x on the right side equals 60 plus 29, that's set up vertically, we can do that very nicely here. 89 equals x. In our next example, we have 101 equals y minus 15. Our variable is right here, the y, the unknown, minus 15. What's the opposite of minus 15? Let's add 15. And remember, we have to do it to both sides of the equation. So we'll have y is our variable left by itself. It's isolated now on the right side. And on the left side, we have 101 plus 15, which will give us 116 equals y. If we're ever asked to check our equations, we can go ahead and substitute back in. For example, if here, 89 minus 29 is 60. So we did that one correctly. Down here, 116, we'll substitute it in for y. 116 minus 15 is 101. We'll look at a word problem right now, too. This reads, Catherine studied 1 in 2,500 hours, or 1.25 hours, for a science test. This was 5 tenths of an hour, or 0.5 hours, less than she studied for her algebra test. Write and solve a subtraction equation to find the time she studied for algebra. If you didn't catch the important information there, I'd like to, you to go back and check it out. The important information was 1 in 25 hundredths, or 1.25 was. Was is another word for is. It's the past tense. So we have 1.25 is. Also, we have 0.5 hours less. 0.5 hours less means subtracting or minus 0.5. Finally, we have the time spent studying for algebra which we don't know, so we can use the variable a. You can use another variable that if you'd like to. Finally, we're going to write our equation. 1.25 equals a minus 0.5. If we're subtracting 0.5, we need to add 0.5 to each side to isolate our variable a. Subtract, adding 0.5 to both, side, both sides, we get 1.75 equals a. And we can say, therefore, remember these three dots in math mean therefore, Catherine spent 1.75 hours studying for algebra.